Hey guys, how's it going? Yoga reviews for you today here with another review for another jersey this week. This is the Real Madrid away jersey for 2001 to 2002. Well, first of all, it's been a minute since I've uploaded any videos to the channel as I decided to take a social media break less than a month ago. But here we are back providing you with some more videos coming from us within the coming weeks. This video is part of a retro series in which I'll be doing reviews on older club team shirts. So I'll be doing two Europe, two North America, and two South American team club shirts within the next month and a half. But today we'll focus on the Real Madrid away jersey for 2001. We're going to be looking at it in detail. So here we go. All right, so when this jersey came out, soccer jerseys had already started getting a lot more straightforward and a lot less flashy in terms of design. And if you ask me, they look a little intimidating back then because, you know, as far as the sizing is concerned, these were actually meant to be a lot loose fitting, a lot more loose fitting as opposed to today's jerseys, which are meant to be skin tight. And I kind of tend to think of karate uniforms when I saw how loose these players would wear them back when it was the style to wear them like that. And uh, this design in particular stands out to me as this tends to be a design that holds up pretty well um, compared to today's designs. And, you know, the home jersey from that year, the home jersey from that year was a plain white jersey with... Uh, with blue with dark navy blue adidas stripes and you know it's pretty basic it's pretty simple but uh, nonetheless it was still a pretty good design so we're going to take a look at this one today all right so like i said before there's not much going on at the front of the shirt we still do have the uh, realmadrid.com sponsor logo who took over as their sponsor that year the year before it was actually teca who ended a long partnership with real madrid as their logistics partner we have the Real Madrid shield and the Adidas logo um, on the left and the right chest. And then we have the authentic license product underneath of it. Now all these are uh, stitched on the front of the jersey. The sponsor logo is heat pressed on the front. All right, and so there are some ventilation holes underneath of the armpits. But uh, the camera does not do a really good job of uh, picking them up, but uh, they're there. All right, so on the right sleeve of the shirt, we have the LFP patch which is stitched on there and we also have the adidas stripes on both sleeves now the neat thing about uh, the ones on each end is that it really leads off into the design of the jersey giving it more of a of an elegant design and then we have this uh, polo t-shirt collar that goes around the whole shirt and it pops up like a regular polo t-shirt collar and it has a v-neck underneath of it as well all right, so on the back of this jersey, we have a nice little uh, power web. It's not really easily visible because the camera does not do a good job of picking it up. But, uh, it's there, and it's a little more well-ventilated than the rest of the jersey. And we have the Adidas stripes that go on both sides of the shirt. And uh, the customization font for the numbers and letters of this jersey is kind of like a stencil font. I tend to think of... Uh, military type fonts when I see it you know it was worn by players like Raul Zidane and Luis Figo and then we have the Clima Light insignia uh, stitched on the bottom of the back of the jersey as well all right guys that's it that was the Real Madrid away jersey for 2001 to 2002 a very elegant and simple design from Adidas and this is actually a step forward from them as they were transitioning into simpler more straightforward designs for their club jerseys that year and this is actually one of my favorite soccer jerseys of all time and probably my favorite Real Madrid jersey in terms of design and I still think that it holds up pretty well today in comparison to today's designs so anyways Keep it locked into yoga reviews for you today so you can be able to check out more videos like this in the weeks to come. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the coming weeks. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Have a great day and peace.